This is this is absolutely one of the prettiest and by far the most expensive car that I've ever built. And this was for this was a concept I did for the SEMA show in 2005. Uh, and the story behind it is I know I was at that, that time I was back and forth in Detroit quite a bit, knew a lot of people up there. And there's this, this one group of folks I knew that were trying to you know, put a, a 69 body panels, steel body panels onto a 05 Co or 05 Mustang. And I thought, you know, that's pretty cool. But, you know, for me, I, I got to get big tires. So the end, we ended up doing a, a project. It was like six, eight months. Seemed like it took forever where we created uh, a wide body 69 version of the 05 Mustang. And what made it so unique and incredibly expensive is that it actually started in clay. Uh, the body stuff was done in, in clay, and then the clay was uh, put onto, uh, you know, it did whole clay, fiberglass, fiberglass, that whole thing. And then the final sculpting was actually done on the car. So, I mean, it, it's, and also what we, we did, we introduced our, you know, the, the latest Gen 4 AGS 4.0 suspension was on that car in 2005 at SEMA. But I mean, the body work, you know, got all the, all the, all the attention. And, you know, back then we had like, you know, really wide tires. You know, eight, 18 inch was like the big deal back then. Uh, of course, this is about 15 years ago. Uh, so we got super wide 18 inch tires and there's, you can just see by the front fenders, you know, how much we've added, we added to the body. Uh, and looking at the back, I mean, if you take a good look, you can see kind of where the where the tail lights end and where the body keeps going out. And it was, I mean, this was done, the guys that did this were amazing, uh, extremely talented, but you know, get up to Detroit and get all these, these concept car building people. And they're really good at what they work at what they do. But it was, <laughs> I can just say it was stupid expensive, but my gosh, what, what a gorgeous looking car. Not only was it gorgeous, it, it, it drove, it, it was amazing to drive. We've had, uh, we've had every editor that drove the car was just blown away. In fact, one, I think Pete Eppel got, got to do a, an article on it down at VIR, and he said it was just the, the absolute best driving car he's ever been in. And that was, you know, the, that was the beginning of our Gen 4 AGS uh, 4.0. And anybody that's got rear grip, get front grip, get in the car, know what I'm talking about. So I mean, there, there's, a, there's a good shot at the front. And I think you can see this, this kind of demonstrates just how wide the front was. <laughs> also, the big air vents we put in. And I'm always talking about getting air out of the hood to help front downforce. Well, by, by putting this in you know, right behind the, fan, the flares, what that does is there's uh, high pressure builds up in the very front of the tire, rotating uh, tire. And that helps bleed off the pressure that builds up in, in the wheel well. Uh, and in the engine, we really didn't do a lot to that. We did, uh, you know, Headers, uh, cold air with a tune. I think we were at like, so we got up like like 383, 85. However, uh, it was uh, a friend of mine bought it a number of years back and has been looking after it very, very uh, lovingly. Uh, and they went ahead and did a little engine work, had an extra kind of horsepower thing is just really a little rocket ship now. And the other little thing I might mention is this car is, uh, you know, the uh, uh, my friend that has it is out of space. And we, we hear that a lot. So it's, the car is for sale again. Uh, it's, it, this is, I, I just can't tell you how beautiful this car is a person. And there's the, you know, the dash, uh, it's a serialized uh, Kenny Brown car. It was originally called the uh, GT4 CSR 69. Well, you know, we always kind of nicknames our cars. That was too long. So the, the, our nickname for it is just M69, you know, the, the plaque under, under, the, uh, under the hood. Uh, it is, I mean, it's a gorgeous car. And there's just look, he went too fast. That's just a smattering of the. I mean, it's, it's been in a lot of a lot of magazines. That's just a smattering uh, of, the, of the magazine articles. But boy, like I say, if you know anybody that might be interested in in a real piece of uh, uh, automotive history and a significant part of my history, uh, the M69. I can't. I I can tell you that what it costs to build, you add at least six zeros and then some because uh, when you start doing you know body you know starting uh, uh, out of clay and having like three or four guys sculpting sculpting the clay then going to fiberglass and putting that on the car and doing the final sculpting on the car uh it, it was pretty extensive now the plan was to actually take that to market 
But unfortunately, that was at the end of 05. And that's when I had some serious health issues and had to sort of drop out for a while. And the car just sat. I mean, it sat and then we, we brought it back and tuned it up. And then, you know, Michael really liked the car. And so we uh, kind of sold it to him uh, to take care of. And uh, he's, he's out of space. So, yeah, if, if, you know, share this with some of your friends if you think they might want a real piece of American automotive history and one of the most beautiful Mustangs you will ever cast your eyes on. No matter wherever we went with it, at like car shows and anything, it is a total camera magnet. I mean, I can't tell you anywhere we go how many people take pictures of that car. Uh, that, that tells you something special when it when when they're a cab, camera magnet and people drive or walk past other cars just to look at this one. So I think I probably rattled on enough about M69, but it's 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 an amazing car with an amazing history.